the disappearance of Mona Lisa and its unusual retrieval. The Louvre, probably the most iconic museum in the world, a center of many great tales and legends. One of them took place in 1911, where in a mysterious heist, the Mona Lisa disappeared. It took the investigators two years until the famous art of Leonardo da Vinci was finally recovered and returned to its iconic place. Now, in our fictitious tale, coming to life in contemporary times, the painting is stolen again. But times have indeed changed. Via online auction, our modern thief tries to sell the priceless artwork. He inserts his sale on the darknet and advertises his loot by taking a picture, which will soon become his downfall. Nevertheless, a buyer is quickly found, and the Bitcoin transaction handled in an untraceable manner. To alleviate himself from any potential evidence, our thief gets rid of the image on his drives by simply deleting the files. All digital traces of his crime disappear in an instant, just in time, because shortly after he gets arrested amid his darknet server room and his hard drives confiscated. The problem? They appear to be empty. How can the police regain the much needed data for proof of the suspect's crime? Can artificial intelligence help? To answer that question, one must take a closer look at how data is stored and how the compromising image of Mona Lisa disappeared from the FIS hard drive. When storing any type of data, the file itself gets fragmented into many pieces. Those pieces are then saved on the drive scattered all around. Only the file system knows how fragments need to be connected to build up the file. By deleting a file, this information gets erased and both its file type classification, the kind of data it once was, and the correct order in which to connect the fragments is lost. So, when the police try to access the data, they are presented with countless blank pieces of an unknown number of jigsaw puzzles. Fitting all the information together manually would be impossible, but not for DFKI's Reconstruction AI. In its first step, the AI is tasked with classifying all the blank fragments of data again. The highest class probability determines the file type. Once the process is finished, the police can then filter for their sought-after type of data. In this case, image. After classification is finished, one is left with all the image fragments, which basically means facing a mountain of pieces from countless puzzles thoroughly mixed. The AI is then able to match all the respective pieces of each specific puzzle and solve them as the final step, meaning putting all the matching image fragments back together. And voila, the image of Mona Lisa has been successfully reconstructed. With this evidence, our prosecutor can finally prove that our suspect was indeed in the possession of our stolen piece of art and try to sell it. This enabled the judge to make an agitated decision and undoubtedly link the suspect to the disappearance of Mona Lisa and convict him for his crime. To relieve his sentence, the thief cooperates with the authorities and provides them with crucial information of his buyer. This way, the stolen painting is tracked down and finally retrieved. Mona Lisa finds its way back to the Louvre in company because of its historic value in solving our complicated high-profile case, the artificial digital reconstruction of Mona Lisa's mugshot for the black market auction is also part of the exhibition now. Artificial intelligence we can trust, ethical, dependable and in service of mankind.